Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a life and love transformational coach and I'm also the founder of Single in Stilettos. Today we have on our show Bex Burton and she's a certified dream builder and love coach and I am so excited to interview Bex today because we're talking about how to attract a strong man who takes the lead because I can't tell you how many times women have complained to me why do I keep attracting these beta males or men that won't take the lead and they get annoyed and I know and that's why I knew this was the perfect topic to interview Bex about because Bex is a strong independent woman like myself and so I know she knows the tips on how to do this so before we jump into it though Bex can you tell the audience a little bit about you and how you became a dream builder and love coach. Sure, I'd be happy to. Thanks, Suzanne, and hello, audience. It's so great to be here. My journey to being a dream builder and love coach, um, I've been a dream builder my whole life. And it's funny, when I discovered dream builder training through Mary Morrissey in the Life Master Institute, I was like, wow, this is this is affirmation of how I've been living my life all this time. So, but the road there was definitely not linear and definitely not paved. Um, but it, it really came out of um, struggling my own struggles in love for over a decade, um, having a couple of quality men and long-term relationships that that ended up. Uh, I call them dumpster fire breakups because I did not have the skills or the tools to know what I needed at the time and communicate what I needed at the time. And so it just built up and built up and built up until it became this explosion of backs. Um, and after the third time that happened, I decided that I was hurting too many people and I was just doing more harm than good and that I was going to take myself off the market and not be in relationship for longer than my longest relationship. And 10, well, I mean, it was, it was uh, about two and a half years later that I met my husband. And in attracting him and recognizing how deep and epic great love truly is, I decided that I wanted everybody to know about this. And I wanted all women to have access to this. And that began my, that began my journey of becoming a love coach and a certified dream builder. Awesome. Okay, so tell us your first tip on how a woman can take, attract a strong man who takes the lead. Yeah, well, I want to preface, I do have three tips, but I want to preface it really quickly by saying that there's, there's a, a, a myth out there. A lot of strong, independent women believe that strong, high-performing men don't want a stri strong, perform high-performing woman for whatever reason. And I just want to lay it out there that that isn't true at all. Um, my husband, for example, is a, a strong, very masculine, high-performing man. And he loves the fact that I'm a business owner and that I'm independent and can make my own decisions. So I just want to lay that out there that you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to go about changing who you are or, or the way that you show up in the world and, to attract a masculine man. There are certain things though that really inspire a masculine man to take the lead. And and one of those the one one of the biggest things is a woman who's who's really authentic. A woman who's and what I mean by that is is a woman who's really true to herself. And what I mean by that is a woman that's really connected with her own heart, her own intuition, her, her own connection with divine, the universe, God, whatever you call it, but really like grounded in, in like a solid identity of like who she is in this world. High performing men, men who take the lead are really attracted to that because there's no question about like, oh, she's going to change personalities like halfway into this courtship or, or whatnot. Um, also other parts of this authenticity are, are women whose actions match their, their, their words and their actions align. Mm -hmm. And their beliefs and their behaviors align. So it's, you know, I, I know that we as women can <laughs> fall into the habit of people pleasing. And I myself am a card carrying people pleaser from way back. But we, um, you know, when we get to that point where we no longer have to do that or no longer do that out of habit, <clears throat> and we really hold true to what we want and who we are. That's a very attractive quality to high high performing men, and eat, like evokes them to take the lead. 
I love that you said that because um, I think a lot of women think that they have to change who they are in order to attract that type of man. And it's not. It's not about changing who you are. And, and I love that you brought up that point. Yeah. But yeah. it's important. I also think, and it's funny because I just had a client talk about this this week, is that um, she noticed that she was showing up on to dates more confident as the process went on and be more assertive. And she couldn't understand why men were getting um, like sheepish around her. And so what you're saying is show up how you are in general at the beginning, right? Don't change midway through. Right. Yeah. And I, and I will speak into that point that, that, that what you just mentioned kind of aligns with my third, my third point. Um, but before I even get there, that there's another element of the, the, the ways of being that we can show up as women that evoke masculine men to take the lead. Mm -hmm. And that's women who, when we are, you know, and this is kind of dovetailing off of that last bit of authenticity. This is when we're present and aware. So when we're connected, when we are, um, authentic to who we are, then we are we're also present and aware of our our own experience and what i mean by that is that our what we want and what we need and i don't know about you suzanne but like for me identifying what i want and need has been a journey <laughs> like that's not something that was programmed into me at a young age so it's a skill that i've had to develop you know what it's it's something that I think a lot of people don't really think a lot about, and it's true. It's about what you want and what you need. And what I always tell clients is this, is that it doesn't how much matter how much chemistry and attraction you have with somebody. If your basic needs aren't being met, he's the wrong man for you. Yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, in, in alignment with that, the want, our wants and our needs, what are our non-negotiables? Mm -hmm. You know, I was working with a client who like was dating a guy, everything was great, the chemistry, the conversation, loads of fun, but he wasn't interested in long-term relationship. You know, and we had this conversation about, well, what needs are being met, what needs are not being met, what non-negotiables are being crossed, and ding, 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 the non-negotiable of, of she wants commitment. That is a non-negotiable for her. Right, right. And that was like a huge revelation for her to say, oh boy, I got to release this guy with blessing and make room for the man who is ready to commit, you know? So knowing what our non-negotiables are, our bottom lines, um, and that also goes along with knowing our boundaries, which is probably a whole other series of videos. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so what's your last tip on how to attract a strong man that takes the lead? Yeah. So this last point is... It's kind of, it's a little more subtle, but it's, it's women who are connected and there's a lot that goes into this. So I'll just, I'll, I'll d boil it down as best as I can. But, um, you know, women who, again, when we're, we're present and aware and we're authentic to who we are, then when we're connected and able to communicate that experience or communicate with our partner, but not only in that, in that way that's going outward, but also when we're connected with our partner so that we can receive, receive his, um, his nonverbal signals of, you know, recognizing when he's had a bad day or when he's frustrated or stressed out and, and connected with not only our own emotions, but when we're connected with his emotions, you know, because women, we have so much more access to our emotional self than, than men. This is just science, right? The way we're wired. And so when we can connect with his emotions and recognize that in him it helps men access their emotions and then we become this super valuable person in his life that like makes him feel more deeply and makes him feel comforted loved cared for all the things we want but we got to do it too <laughs> you know exactly exactly yeah. So Bex, one last question, because you struck something in my mind when you said that. Do you think that women are that are very much who are very much givers have a hard time receiving? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I just had to make you say it. Absolutely, you know, and and you know the work that I do, I speak a lot about like the the masculine energy, the feminine energy, mm -hmm. and both men and women, we both have both, mm -hmm. you know. But this is. This, it tends to be that, that driven, successful, ambitious women, we tend to be living more in our masculine. Right. And that is expressive, that is the doing, that is the outward flow. So yeah, we are definitely like, we got our walls and our fences up around receiving, 
But there are practices and exercises that we can, you know, tiptoe and take baby steps into the waters of receiving so that then it becomes a, a more regular habit. But boy, that is also a skill that us ambitious, independent women, like we, that's, that's something that's, that's on our plate that we get to skill up in. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, these have been some great tips. So Bex, I know you have a free gift for the ladies. So can you tell them about it? I sure do. I have a video series that's in three parts and it's called Soulmate Love Awaits You Just As You Are. And it's six mindful practices to open up and receive love. So if receiving is one of the things that you're practicing, come on over and check out that video series. Awesome. So ladies, if you would like Bex's free gift, all you have to do is click below the video on that link. And if you're listening to the podcast, just go to singleandstilettos.com and look for Bex's interview and you can get her free gift too. So thanks everybody for joining us on the Single on Stiletto show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you would like to view the videos, go to singleandstilettos.com and if you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free free gift the secrets about men video series you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com <laughs>